traffic's too bad in Toronto, so we're walking to the venue. Well, Toronto residents have known for a long time that traffic congestion in the city is absolutely horrible. Now the rest of the world knows too. Irish singer Niall Horan was forced to abandon his car and walk to the uh, Scotiabank Arena where his concert was being held. He chronicled his downtown commute and posted that video, which has now gone viral to social media. So the question is, how did it get this bad and what can be done to fix it? The Toronto Region Board of Trade launched a task force to tackle the issue. Giles Garcia is the president and CEO of the board. He now joins us. So how did it get so bad, Giles? Well, I think it's a really a, a simple question of math, really. Um, if you think about it, I mean, the population of Toronto has really grown uh, and the whole GTA over the last 20 years. In fact, about 2.5 million more people here than there were 24 years ago. And we've had very little new transit, very little new infrastructure. Now it's happening now, but uh, but very little was done for about 30 or 40 years. Um, and so, you know, it's simple math, but the roads are clogged. I think it's also fair to say that um, with the construction that's going on now, whether it's condominium construction, whether it's infrastructure construction, uh, many of the arterial roads that, that used to be, you know, two or three lanes each way are now down to one lane each way, at least for, for certain portions of them. And this is really causing huge bottlenecks. So part of it's construction, part of it is, you know, we have bike lanes now on, on many of our arterial roads, we have parking really clogged them up. But those are critical, uh, those are critical arteries for moving people from say the downtown core uh, to the outskirts of the city, uh, but they've become really clogged. So I put this out on X today, the new platform, and, and I asked people, you know, what their, their traffic concerns were. Infrastructure was not built for bicycle lanes, which is a part of the congestion problem. The removal of the Gardner off-ramp at uh, Lakeshore and Carla has tripled the commute, and on and on and on and on and on. People talking about their area of the city and how, you know, some people have chosen to leave the city now. Some people say it takes an hour to get from downtown Toronto uh, to... Uh, you know the, their lives in in the suburbs even to the beaches sometimes which is you know not a far distance for folks watching across the country so how do we fix this problem in the immediate we know that there are long-term fixes you know there's the the ontario line a subway that's being built but in the immediate is there anything that can be done yeah, I think there are a bunch of things that could be done. But first of all, I think the city needs to, it's, and the city has made some moves that are very helpful, uh, putting travel tra traffic agents in on, on certain corridor sections to move traffic and pedestrians. That's made an impact. But really, I think it needs a major reset. I mean, as I said, when you have this kind of growth in population, and remember, another it's estimated that another 2.7 million <laughs> Uh, uh, people will be joining Toronto, the GTA, over the next uh, 20 years or so. Um, so this is, you know, this is these are some massive growth. And when you have that kind of growth, you really need to step back and pause and really think about the structure of your traffic management system, of your infrastructure, and how they all interrelate. Because right now, it it seems to be that the right hand doesn't really know what the left hand is doing. Uh, you've got, you know, all of these construction projects that aren't properly sequenced. Uh, you've got, um, and, and, you're, and again, we'll put, we're going forward with a significant increase in bicycle lanes, which are great, except they're on major routes. And right. of course, when you've got a limited amount of road space, um, that's going to reduce the amount of room for traffic. You know, uh, the, the traffic in New York is better, Mexico City, according to some reports. Uh, Tom Cruise tweeted, what's up with the traffic in Toronto? People are taking yeah. notice. Uh, tourists take notice when I have family that comes in. They say, what's up with the traffic in Toronto? <laughs> I'm, you know, uh, you know, frustrated every day when I'm coming into work. How much is this hurting the reputation of the city? I think very badly. Um, you know, I was talking to the head of a major consulting firm, business consulting firm, uh, not so long ago, who was telling me that they don't, they, they, they're having trouble getting international clients to come to Toronto. They just don't want to come. And part of it was, I call it the Tom Cruise syndrome, but you referred to it, of, of Tom Cruise tweeting out during TIFF, what's with Toronto traffic. But that kind of thing goes viral. It gets picked up by a lot of people. And then there are all of these uh, war stories that, you know, over time start to add up and people who were traveling to Toronto come back home, wherever it is, and they say, wow, I, I was stuck in traffic for hours. And, it, and, and, you know, and the people then don't want to come. And that's a real problem for us. You know, we, the, I mean, it's not just tourism. It's, uh, it's, it's in, it, ability to keep investment here and growth here. Yeah. Um, there are a number of companies that are now cutting back on their footprint in Toronto because they can't get their employees to the workplace, right? Because the traffic is so bad. They don't want to ask yeah. their employees to, to take two hours to get to work.
And, and we got we got to leave it there. Lots more to discuss on this one. But Giles, appreciate your time. That is Giles Gerson, President and CEO of the Toronto Region Board of Trade.